Hello everyone. In week zero, I introduced you to the playlist and quantum glasses tool. Later, last time in week one, we saw the different quantum mechanical systems. And today in week two, I will tell you about quantum states and block sphere and other amazing concepts. So let's do it. So let's uh, get to the agenda for uh, today's video. So we will start with direct notations. Uh, then we shall move to Hilbert space and understand this uh, concept of Hilbert space. Then we shall uh, go to block sphere uh, and see how the tool we developed quantum glasses will actually help us here to visualize uh, the various quantum states using block sphere. So let's go. We saw that upon measurement, a qubit can take either of these two states. So let's understand these two states in a bit more detail. So this first state is called zero ket, and this is nothing but this two by one vector. And similarly, we have this one ket. And again, this is one more vector. So these are the two vectors which are actually represented like this in quantum computing, but these are the simple vectors. Now we also have superposition state and mathematically it is represented like this, where scikit is the, definitely the quantum state and uh, zero ket and one ket you already know what it is and uh, if i talk about alpha and beta these are the complex numbers and these are really important and uh, and just note them down we will come to them in some of the future videos now this notation here is called ket and if i talk about direct notations there's one more notation uh, in direct notations which is this and this this notation is called bra so bra is nothing but the complex conjugate transpose of ket so let's understand this a bit more mathematically so we'll understand it using inner product Using direct notations, this is how you represent inner product of two vectors. Okay, and uh, for simplicity, I have chosen zero kit, but you can definitely choose any other vector. Now, this is nothing but this multiplication of matrices. Note that zero bra is transpose of zero ket, and here, since the entries are real numbers, we we uh, did not have the situation of taking the complex conjugate but if the entries are complex you just need to change the sign of the imaginary part and if you just uh, work out the mathematics here the matrix multiplication that's what you get and if i talk about the outer product this is how you represent the outer product using direct notations and again if i show you the uh, matrix multiplication this is how it goes now rather than just simply inner product and outer product know that these concepts will come really handy as we move ahead so inner product uh, relates to something called measurement uh, and uh, another topic called fidelity whereas outer product will come in handy when you just trying to work out for your own gates so these two product, uh, these two products, these two concepts are important, and just note them down. Now let's move to Hilbert space. Now Hilbert space is just a vector space that is equipped with inner product. That's a simple definition. Actually speaking, Hilbert space is where all these vectors reside. So all of these states that we are talking about are quantum states. 
And since these are vectors, definitely there will be a vector space where uh, all these vectors belong to. So the quantum states uh, reside and uh, belong to these Hilbert space. And Hilbert space is a big concept in quantum mechanics. And I will leave a few links in the description that will help you to explore this topic a little more. Now let's come to block sphere. And this is the name of the channel is itself block sphere. You can understand how important this concept is. So this is uh, how you uh, see the block sphere. All, all, all these arrows actually represent the various states. So a block sphere is a visual representation of various quantum states and it helps you to understand the transition that takes place uh, when you apply gates to a qubit and uh, the transition that takes place uh, in these states. And don't worry, we will understand it in a very detail in this series. So yeah, as I told you, it's the visual representation of quantum states. And one more important concept is the angle between the states. So if you look here on uh, the Z axis, the zero ket and one ket uh, have an angle of 180 degrees. But I told you that these are orthogonal states. So actually they have, a, have an angle of 90 degrees. But note that in block sphere, the actual angle is multiplied by two. So the actual angle between the two states is actually one half of that which is actually represented on the block sphere. I hope you get that. Now that we have just uh, these spherical coordinates, uh, it's a normal sphere, it's a block sphere. So we have these spherical coordinates. And now let's uh, let me show you a simple demo of these uh, of this block sphere using quantum glasses, the tool that we have developed. And if you are if you don't know how to get this tool for yourself, you should check out the first video in this series. So let's go. So here, what you see on your screen is called quantum glasses. I call it quantum glasses. And this is a GUI app that's uh, built using IBM Qiskit and Tkint. So for the demo purpose, say I want to build a equal superposition. Just what I talked about uh, uh, previously in the video. And that's accomplished using this header mud gate that's represented using this edge here. So let me press it here. Now you can see that at, you can see this edge over here in the screen. Now it's time to visualize it. So I will click on this visualize button. And now you can see this block sphere, right? And you can see it started here from zero cat, the, this arrow that you see here, it actually denotes the quantum state, the where, what is the quantum state at a given point in time. So initially it was zero cat and then it transitioned from zero cat to this state, which is the actually the superposition state. And uh, you can see the block sphere here, you can rotate it here. And these are the various axes, zero cat, one cat. And of course, you can also see the operator you apply it, which is H in this case, you can see H here. And you can also apply a series of operations. So maybe you just don't want to apply one gate, but you want to apply multiple gates here. So that can also be done. And uh, this uh, you will see all of these gates and uh, all these buttons that you see on this uh, visualizer app and i just can't wait to tell you about the mathematics and show you the visual visualization of all of it so i hope you are excited and if you are subscribed to the channel so whenever a video drops you are automatically notified and with that said uh, I will take your leave here in this week, but we will meet next week with more amazing concepts of quantum computing. Until then, uh, take care.